What's good, y'all? It's in an awkward video position because I don't have the tools that I need for this video production. But I'm going to get them soon, so no worries. But today I'm going to transplant these uh, carrot tops that I've cut. So, um, yeah, a while back I got some carrots. And so you normally just chop off the tops, chop off the ends. I was like, hmm, maybe we can like, actually replant these. So uh, here you can see I've chopped off the tops. And what I did, I left them in a shallow bowl of water and so I replace the water every day um, just to keep it fresh keep it clean and then um, you know after about four or five days they started to develop roots out of the side so that was pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is plant them into the bed right now and um yeah see if they mature anymore um, being out of the water and in actual soil where they can root a little bit better so yeah, I'm going to do that now B.A. Beats. Cool. So these have been transplanted. We'll check the progress of these as time goes on. But yeah, more little carrot tops and I'll keep y'all updated. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is transplant the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli and also this kale over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to that. All right, y'all, so I pretty much just, uh, just grabbed it right out of the aquarium. Uh, it's pretty saturated, so I'm glad I'm doing this now before any other any problems arise. They seem pretty strong, and they had a really strong root system, so it's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, and set this here, and go grab the others. All right. All right, so um, 
We have carrots, carrots, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, one kale, and that little bitty bee balm right there. Sorry, it's hard for me to see my camera screen, so I think I'm um, in frame. That little bitty bee balm over there. So, yeah. Another thing that I would like to do is start some new seeds. Um, debating whether I should start them actually in the soil here or start them in potting or like other cups. But I think I'm going to just start them here. Um, but yeah, I'll get back with y'all. All right, cool. All right, y'all. See here, I have a selection of uh, various vegetables that I would like to grow, as well as some Epsom salt. You're like, why the Epsom salt? Well, I got a tip from one of my neighbors that um, mixing Epsom salt in with the soil will allow for just like more nutrients to be delivered to the plants. And it is like a plant food supplement. And it even says it right there on the packaging. Don't tell my mom. I took the Epsom salt out of the bathroom. Um, she would probably flip if she saw this Epsom salt in the dirt. I'm going to clean the bag off, so, you know, leave no trace. But anyways, yes, I'm going to plant these. So I didn't get to mix this Epsom salt in on that side. But I'm going to try it over here and, uh, yeah, see what happens. I'm not going to deviate too much from what I already have growing. I think it will be interesting since I've planted Bloomsdale spinach over there in the other section. I'm going to try it in this section. Oop, will it focus? Yes, I'm going to try it in this section as well. As well as these um, bunching onions. I'm going to try these. The cabbage. I'm going to do a few more kale because I just don't want one kale kale is dope so it'd be cool to have more kale and then some squash as well so yeah we're gonna go ahead and plant these I'm gonna leave a little bit of space um, yeah I'm gonna try to leave a section over here because I feel like I want to either experiment with tomatoes or beans a little bit later um, maybe a couple weeks from now so yeah we'll see what happens but dope. I'm gonna go ahead and start planting and I'll catch up with y'all So this tool is called a cultivator. <laughs> B A beats.
All right, so plan it. So what I have, spinach here. B A B. Oh, no, B. false. <laughs> spinach is here. The kale is here because I continue that row. Then I did cabbage. Then I did squash. And what I did in between the cabbage and the squash just to see how it worked with these bunching onions. Um, yeah, just to try something out because I had a bit of space. So I was just going to try them. Um, I know these are kind of close together, but you know, it's a trial and error. So we'll see what happens, see how it works. I think, no, I don't think. I'm going to plant some these garlic chives right in between here. And I know I didn't save the um, space for the tomatoes or beans like I planned, but uh, that's okay, we'll work something out. All right, cool, cool. All right, so, got everything planted, got everything labeled. Took some wood and just broke it up. Make shift, you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do, use what you got. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in to this planting session. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned something as well and I'll uh, catch y'all next time. All right, peace.